and dip thy morsel in the vinegar. <clears throat> and she sat beside the reapers, and he reached her parched corn, and she did eat, and was sufficed, and left. When she was risen up to glean, Boaz commanded his young men, saying, Let her glean even among the sheaves, and reproach her not. And let fall also some of the handfuls of purpose for her, and leave them, that she may glean them and rebuke her not. So she gleaned in the field until evening, and beat out that she had gleaned. And it was about an ephah of barley. And she took it up and went into the city. And her mother-in-law saw what she had gleaned, and she brought forth and gave to her what she had reserved after she was sufficed. And her mother-in-law said to her, Where hast thou gleaned today? Where wouldst thou? Thus be he that did take knowledge of thee. She showed her mother in law with whom she had walked, and said, The man came with whom I walked today is what? And he only said to her daughter in law, Blessed be he of the Lord who hath not left my And Naomi said to her, The man is near of kin unto us, one of our next kinsmen. And Ruth the Moabitess said, He said unto me also, Thou shalt keep fast by my young men, until they have ended all my harvest. And Naomi said to Ruth, your daughter-in-law, It is good, my daughter, that thou go out with his maidens to be thee, not in any other field. So she kept fast by the maidens of Boaz to glean unto the end of barley harvest, end of wheat harvest, and dwelt with her mother-in-law.